Hi, welcome back to Retro Room, and today I'm vlogging on former club kid Larry T. So Larry T is featured very heavily by both the 5 Ninth Avenue Project YouTube channel and the Mr. Richardson YouTube channel. Um, some of the videos include Nelson Sullivan discusses his relationship with Larry T, RuPaul and Larry T present Nelson Sullivan's New York, and Larry T and Lahoma and RuPaul move to New York. Larry T's Wikipedia page says that he was born October 12th in 1959, and that he is a Berlin-based DJ, club promoter, and music producer who coined the musical genre term Electroclash and helped launch the careers of such artists as RuPaul, Scissor Sisters, Fisher Spooner, Peaches, WIT, and Avenue D, and has written songs and collaborated with Afrojack, Chantel, Princess Superstar, Santa Gold, RuPaul, Sean Garrett, Stevie Yoki, and Amanda Lepore. In January 2014, he launched his clothing line, Tsuji, at London Fashion Week. Tsuji is grabbing attention by taking the easy-to-wear and flattering qualities of sportswear and bringing an exciting graphic edge to its prints and silhouettes. It's already been worn by popular stars like Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show, Rihanna, Missy Elliott, Sean Kingston, and sold in top stores like the Dover Street Market in New York and V-Files, as well as in Los Angeles, London, Berlin, Melbourne, and many more. After relocating and setting up production in Berlin in 2015, Suji is bringing a world of fashion together with music and entertainment via appearances in festivals and on TV. New York Press credited T as a hipster before there were hipsters, a club kid before Michael Alec, and a man who made Williamsburg cool again. Then, the New York Times cites Larry's Club in Williamsburg as one of the reasons Williamsburg got its groove back. New York Magazine celebrated T's Electro Clash credentials as well as his role in making RuPaul a star in the 1990s. T was born to two Canadian citizens. He grew up in Seattle and in the early 1980s he moved to Atlanta where he became a part of the music scene and hung out with personalities such as RuPaul, Michael Stipe from R.E.M., Lady Bunny, and Lahoma Van Zandt at the Celebrity Club in Atlanta. In 86, T, along with RuPaul, Lady Bunny, and Lahoma Van Zandt, moved to New York City and quickly became involved with the club kid scene with his epic party love machine. He hosted nights at Michael Alec's infamous Disco 2000, which is featured in the movie Party Monster. He also DJed at the Roxy on a weekly basis. During the 1990s, he became a prominent DJ playing at highly regarded venues such as Palladium, the Roxy, and Twilo. In 1992, T co-wrote RuPaul's top 40 hit, Supermodel, You Better Work. In the early 2000s, while spinning at Berlinium's Berg party at Club Lux, T created and trademarked the term Electroclash, which became so well known that it appeared in the Oxford Dictionary. He coordinated and managed the 2001 Electroclash Festival, which featured Scissor Sisters, Fisher Spooner, and Peaches. He also created and managed the Nouveau Music Electro Girl Group, WIT. In 2007, he and Andy Bell released the single Matthew, an homage to Matthew Shepard, who in 1998 was killed for being gay. In 2009, T released the iTunes Top 20 Dance album, Club Bad, featuring songs by Perez Hilton, Princess Superstar, Jeffree Star, Roxy Cottontail, Herb, Bart B. Moore, and Christopher Just. In 2010, Larry T released the single Let's Make Nasty featuring Roxy Cottontail. It was released in the UK in 2011. In 2010, T collaborated with celebrity blogger Perez Hilton and Amanda Lepore to produce Hilton's first music track. He has remixed artists like Sia, Iggy Azalea, Stevie Yoki, R.E.M., Lady Gaga, and Cher. In 2011, T moved to London. He runs a weekly night in East London called Super Electric Party Machine at East Block every night, Friday night and XOYO that has featured artists like Charlie XCX, Brooke Candy, and Two Bears Rolf. In June 2015, Larry T moved to Berlin to run Suji from Germany and ran crank parties in Berlin. Suji has since been featured on shows such as The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, X Factor, and similar shows. In several countries associated with such entertainers as Rihanna, Missy Elliott, and Sean Kingston, and is sold in such shops as Le Petit Mort and the Dover Street Market in New York. 
on August 18, 2015, Vice published an article by DJ DB entitled The Many Lives of Larry T, the 90s club kid who coined Electro Clash. The veteran DJ serves up a fresh new mix of ballroom, electro, and house. Here's some of what the article has to say. I have known Larry T since the early 90s when he achieved massive success writing the 93 breakthrough hit Supermodel for RuPaul. But the veteran DJ isn't just a talented songwriter, in fact, there's very little that he hasn't done. From promoting parties to producing tracks and, and playing in bands, behind the scenes he's helped to launch the careers of artists like RuPaul, Scissor Sisters, and Fisher Spooner. He even coined the term Electro Clash. The first time I witnessed his larger-than-life character was when Michael Alec, who ran a party called Disco 2000 at the Limelight, called me to stand in for the resident DJ Kiyoki. Larry was hosting Hot Body, the party's notorious crowd-focused contest. We've since become close friends with much in common, but there's one important thing I'd like to mention. We're both drug and drink free. When I asked Larry if he was cool letting me mention that, he had a beautiful reply. I am totally out about being in recovery and hopes that it might help someone that sees me do my thing in that environment. I have always felt the same way. New York is a little less colorful since Larry moved to London, but London needs a bit of color anyway. Larry's musical career included playing keyboards in the Atlanta new wave act The Fans, which produced the B-52's original Rock Lobster 7-inch. After that, he joined the fabulous group Now Explosion with fellow Limelight host Lahoma Van Zandt. Now Explosion launched the first shows by RuPaul and Lady Bunny and became the Pyramid Club's house band in the mid-80s. When I couldn't remember what his connection to the Scissor Sisters was, Larry replied, We hosted most of their early shows at our electro party at Lux. Referring to the nickname for Brooklyn's Williamsburg neighborhood in the early 2000s when it was full of 80s clubs and booked their first show when they opened for my Electro Clash cutie girl group whatever it takes. So that's all I'm going to read from the article. It does go on, but I will leave the links to this and Larry T's Wikipedia page below. That's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for all the comments you've been leaving and all of the likes. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so by clicking the kitty, or you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel by clicking the black and white kitty on the other side of your screen. Thanks again, and I will see you for my next upload.